Do you have an idea if Nigeria has a satellite? Of course we do now. Yes. No. What's the function of that satellite? So it has various functions. Um, one of it is for, I think, agriculture. I have no idea. The only thing that comes to mind is like weather. So I've always wanted to know more about Nigeria satellite. But to be honest, I wasn't convinced it was still up and running since its launch 2006. <laughs> Until I took the initiative to dig into NICOMSAT, the government agency handling it. I reached out to them for more information. And trust me, what I discovered was an eye-opener. In today's video, we're diving deep into what NICOMSAT brings to the table, their upcoming mission, and a little history about them. So keep watching. Now let's go a little bit back in time. NICOMSAT 1 was launched May 13, 2007, using a Chinese Long March 3B rocket from Zilong Satellite Launch Center in China. However, November 10, 2008, it was turned up temporarily for analysis to avoid bumping into other satellites. The Nigerian Communications Satellite Limited put it on emergency mode to fix things. Unfortunately, the satellite completely stopped on November 11, 2008 due to power loss. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, <laughs> but pay attention. Fast forward to March 24, 2009, when the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology and CGWIC signed a new deal for the NICOMSAT-1 arrow satellite. That light was meant to replace the failed night comes at one. It was successfully launched December 19, 2011, and is a satellite Nigeria has been using ever since. The big question is what does the satellite offer and what it reach? For my research, the one arrow is very useful. It helps with communication, broadcasting on TV, and can divide internet connection to Nigeria and other 60 countries. So let's start with broadcasting. The night comes at one arrow gives you access to over 200 channels. You get options like free to air and pay TV. It even offers both standard and high definition channel, which makes sure there's something for everybody. Next is navigation precision. The one arrow goes beyond broadcasting. It helps make sure you know exactly where you are using something called satellite based augmented system. It fixes and improves other navigation systems, making them super accurate. So whether you're moving horizontally or vertically, this satellite can pinpoint your location with accuracy as tight as 5 to 10 meters horizontally and 8 to 20 meters vertically. Next is the most useful one, internet. NICOMSAT has four offices, which are in Lagos, Abuja, Kaduna, and Gombe, which helps them link up with businesses, government organization, and regular people who need internet. And it's not just about browsing. This satellite opens doors to things like telemedicine, teleeducation, government services online, smart farming, and even video call to the most remote places. The next service is security and communication. NICOMSAT One Arrow plays a very important role in keeping things safe. It provides special internet solutions to the military joint task force, helping them with important operations on ground, like patrols. It's a secure and special tool that helps the military do their job and keep everyone safe. I know I've been talking about too many big words, so let's talk about practical application of these satellites in our daily lives. For example, planes. You can get in-flight connectivity, providing Wi-Fi for passengers during flights. This will be useful to see in Nigeria. It can also be used for supporting cockpit and operational services. For land, BRT and trains can actually give passengers Wi-Fi with the satellite. It will give a better traveling experience. For sea, cruise and merchant ship can use the satellite to give passengers Wi-Fi and also use it for inventory management. For rural connectivity, you can offer internet services to remote and underserving places. For monitoring, you can get real-time weather observations and forecasting with the satellites. While I was doing my research, I had an interesting conversation with the CEO of NICOMSAT. Here's what she had to say. So I have one question, like what's, what's next for the brand? Because I know you have a lot of vision. Oh, yes, we do. So there are three big themes we are working to deliver. And in so many ways, in some of the things I've said, you must have heard me say it. I think one of the first one is service delivery. We want to enhance our service delivery because it's also a problem. It's been a problem in the past for existing clients or customers is the quality of service you deliver. The second big thing we are really working on is making sure that our infrastructure is reliable. You know, I told you about that perception that has stuck with us and we're spending so much effort now to change it. But another way to address it is to ensure that your infrastructure is reliable. If it is reliable, you know, it's a matter of, a, like we said, with time, even more uh, word of mouth, people become your promoters, talking about the, how enhanced and how reliable your infrastructure is. 
And the third part, which we cannot avoid because we're a tech company, is continuous technology. Because if we don't drive that, others want to drive that for you. We have to be clear in terms of how we continue with our technology and make sure that our stakeholders are clear that we will provide continuous technology. People don't have to plan the next satellite on our behalf. We already have it figured out. We are the experts. Just worry about, are we giving you the service quality you so deserve? But if we deliver on those things, then it won't be a conversation. Do you understand? So internally, those are the three things we will drive. But externally towards the market, what we really want to push is value creation to every stakeholder that has to deal with us. Because what my vision is, is that we become the preferred satellite provider for Nigerians and Africans. What does preferred mean? It means in the face of options, I choose you. I didn't force you, but in the face of all the options being placed on the table, you chose NICOMSAT. You see? And to do that means I have to create all the variables and make sure everything that, you know, puts you in that direction, I tick those boxes. And it's just, it's just like choosing your satellite, your mobile operator. You do have options, but you still choose a certain provider. And everybody has a reason why they chose them. And that's what we want to change in the satellite industry. If we're able to do that, then we can really take our place. That's what we want to do, take our place. We should be driving that industry in Africa. And to drive that is that we do all the basics we need to do, that it's just natural that we become the driver of the satellite industry in the African market. So... so <laughs> I, I don't know that that's a question. Go ahead, you can answer that. Like, so that, we so that means we're getting, we're getting an upgrade to the satellite. Oh, definitely. We should have an upgrade. But what I keep saying, it shouldn't be a discussion where consumers are worried on my behalf. <laughs> it should be a discussion where I'm proudly telling you where I'm taking you next. So first of all, I sought the service delivery because I want you to be happy using my service. I want to create value that you are happy to pay for my service. Of course, creating visibility of the service, which we have started already. People should even know what our service are. Is that, that's not why we're having this discussion. People should know that I have options for you. If you want to use broadband, you could use me. And I can give you broadband in places even your standard providers can give you broadband. And for enterprises, I can give you broadband with different options. Whatever it is, you want KU band, C band, you want KA band. I have all those options. You want improved latency. You want people that can do that with existing hub infrastructure in country. This is for the enterprise market for various reasons. I can give you that. Even for broadcasters, do you know that I carry broadcasting um, organizations? We provide broadcasting service. Most people don't know that. We can do navigation. Most people don't, don't know that. And we do high-end enterprise services, what we call backhaul, so to carry the traffic for large organizations. So those services, first of all, we have to create the visibility that people know what we can offer. Then two, deliver on our promise. Whatever I told you I was going to offer you, I have to deliver on it. Then I don't want you to worry about my technology roadmap. Let me worry about it. So yes, that is going to be my big problem to figure out. And you just enjoy the service I create. So thank you. And thank you, Cyril. For my conclusion, I believe the Nice Comps at One Arrow is a crucial resource Nigeria hasn't fully tapped into yet. He holds the potential to be a game changer by enhancing navigation, ensuring widespread internet access, and supporting vital security communication functions. I believe integrating this satellite into our daily life has the power to change the way we operate and communicate, transforming everything for the better. And here's a game-changing aspect. While there's faster internet like MTN 5G, the Nice Comps at One Arrow offers something they don't have which is coverage without need for cables or base station. Whether you are in a bustling city or in the desert, this satellite can ensure you get internet wherever you are. So <laughs> that's my review of this satellite. Drop a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.